Cheers! <laughs> Welcome to Movie Bitches, RuPaul's Drag Race Season 2, Episode 4, Snatch Game. <laughs> so, first things first, real quick. First of all, I'd like to point out <gasps> Avril's fabulous new glass that I got her to replace the one that I broke. My birthday um, present. It has our logo on it. Um, we're trying to figure out how to get ones for you guys to purchase if you would like. Yeah. Um, so we're working on it. Let us know if that's something that you would want. and We can we'll... try and make it happen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, quick shout out to our wine sponsor, Wink. Yeah. Trywink.com slash movie bitches. You get $20 off your first month, and it's pretty fabulous. We really like the wines. I'm really liking these wines. Yes. Um, so, let's get into it. The first Snatch Game ever! I mean, on Drag Race. Well, I mean, it's the first Snatch Game. I guess that's true. We're not talking Match Game here. Right, right. Although, I would not be mad if somebody decided to do Brett Summers on Snatch Game. Oh my god. Into it. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. Or Paul Lind. Sure, sure, sure. I was I thinking mean, a girl, but yes. Well, sure. Or Charles Nelson Riley, really. Yes. Just, I mean, just I know, drunk and like, just like, if Paul Lynn to me was, I was like, that's like close enough of a like gender bend line where you're <laughs> sure. like, sure, Paul Lynn is as close to drag as you can get without wearing a wig. I don't think that they explained it enough to the queens because well, yeah, Louis says like we it, want you to do celebrity impressions like in Snatch Game, right? Right. And obviously, if you know what Match Game is, then you get kind of the vibe that it should be, where it's sure. like silly and playful and fun and funny. And maybe, maybe this will make it easier for people now, mm. now that Match Game is back. <gasps> oh my god, I love it's it! It's so much fun. But it's like... Can somebody please do Rosie O'Donnell on Snatch Game? Oh my god. It'd be this so great. to be really loud and really competitive. <laughs> yes! Kathy Griffin would be a great person for Snatch Game. Mm -hmm. Betty White would be great. Betty White would be a fabulous Snatch Game. Or B. Arthur, really. Oh, yes. I think when they told them to bring a celebrity impersonation... Yes. ...before the show, they didn't say for, like, a game show. Right. You know? So they were all... Certainly this season they were at a disadvantage. A lot of the queens came with celebrity impersonation looks that they do. Right. That is like, like a dance number or whatever. Too. Exactly. Yeah. It's, and like it's like Coco's Janet, and you're like, cool, but like, hmm. So anyway, the mini challenge was Drag Race Price is Right. Yeah. Which was fine. It was fine. They had to, you know, bid on what they, how much drag they thought drag related products yeah, would work. be, and if you win, you win a phone call. Right, and a $1,200 wig, apparently. Oh, right. Well, so the showcase was brass knuckles, pepper spray, and a lace front wig. And I was like, what does this night entail? Right. What is, what's happening? you got to defend yourself. But then also the wig. I, it was, seemed uh, odd. Yeah. That seemed like a weird showcase. But anyway. Anyway. Raven wins. Yes. And, and she, she's like, ah. It feels so good, all those fuckers better beware. And it's like, huh? Because you guessed the price of something? She got her confidence back. She's like, I won something. Sure, like, sure. You know, it's not necessarily like, oh, now I'm better at drag because I guessed the price. She kind of said it like that. Winning that made me feel great. Like, okay, these bitches better watch out. And then she had a weird phone call with her mom. It was, it was edited weird. It was edited like, weird. Though, she was like, hello? Mother. Hello, mom. Like the mom, it's bad reception. Yeah. She's like, mom. 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 Mommy. How's church? Mom. Oh, okay, good. Okay. Bye. Okay, cool. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. It was edited weird. It was edited weird. It's bizarre. Yeah. My favorite part about the mini challenge is that the pit crew comes in just wearing collars and ties and like silk boxers. They were cheesing it up. I guess trying to be like Price is Right girls, but right. they weren't really nailing it. So Rue comes in, is talking to them or whatever, and Sonique is like, oh, I'm gonna be Lady Gaga. Yeah. And then Rue is just like... You know, I was on the fence about her until she did that interview where they said, what are you looking for in a boyfriend? And she said, a big A huge cock. And it's just like... Oh. I mean, if that quote is true, power to Lady Gaga. But she's going through everyone, you know, everyone's like, oh, I'm doing this pop star, oh, I'm doing that pop star, and it was like, who cares? And then she gets to Pandora, and Pandora's like, I'm doing Carol Channing, and Brew is just yeah! like, yeah! Yay! Thank 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. It was genuinely like the clouds parted and she was just like, I don't remember having corn. <laughs> and that was a bad Carol Channing impression. It was okay. But it was all right. It was all right. Raspberries. <laughs> Is that real dead-eyed? Yeah. I fucking love Carol Channing. Yep. Yep. It's very good jam. Jam today. Oh my God. If jam tomorrow. Is that what? Jam it? tomorrow. Uh, jam yesterday. Today. But never ever jam today. You can wish as you want. You can want as you wish. But still, you better hear me say. <laughs> jam tomorrow. Jam yesterday. But never ever jam today. That was amazing. It's amazing. Her dance is amazing. Everything about it is amazing. And I really actually wish that either Pandora or Bob had right. been that Carol. Right? Just Carol Ooh. Channing as the White Queen. Oh. With the weird, with Brenda? Brenda? Bren yes! Like, yes! <laughs> well, Rue, I wrote Brenda. <laughs> like, you know, oh my god, yes. That, I would have died. That would have been fucking amazing. I wrote Jam. was very good Jam. <laughs> you could just pull all from that one thing. Yeah. It's its own. I mean. Boys and Berry Jam. Yeah. Just go through <laughs> just the jams. Sure. It would be great. <laughs> Anyway, um, so Pandora gets it. It was great because it was really the first of the like Jinx Monsoon. Right. I'm gonna be little Edie moments where everyone's like, huh? And then it's like, oh, but wait, you're the best. I just love. I think my favorite um, Pandora response is when she's like scurvy. I'm the national spokesperson for Broadway actresses against scurvy. <laughs> So, of course, they, they stack the panel the right way. So, right. Pandora as Carol Channing is first. Like, even then, they knew that was, like, the seat the to have, seat. right? Yeah. yeah. But then, so it was Carol Channing. Yes. And then it was Morgan, Morgan as Pink. She looked like a pretty good Pink. Sure. But, God, was she dull. I think she was really nervous. I think she was really Particularly, nervous. Particularly, like, she, you could tell, like, they kept playing the clip over and over oh again. Oh, my God. Now, I've never seen you on a game show before. Is this your first one? This is my first, it's not my first one, but it's my first game show. And they played it eight times? Oh, my God. Well, and then she, like, freaks out at herself afterward, where you can tell she's just like, what the fuck are you doing? She just shut down. What do you mean? It's my first, like, she just was getting in her head. Yeah, and I think yeah. that that kind of was like. <sighs> this is my first, and it's not my first one, but it's my first game show. So next to her is Juju as... Kamora Lee. Yes, not Simmons. Simmons. Well, not anymore, because it was a year after their divorce. Yes. Apparently. For me, it was a real disappointment. Yeah, because, because Juju's so funny. It's Juju, and I'm thinking, oh, or, I mean, I remember watching it and just being like, oh my god, I can't wait, I'm so excited, she's going to be so funny, and then it was like, oh. Scabies. Scabies is not sexually transmitted, is it? It can be, I've had it. She just didn't live it up. It just didn't seem like she knew what to, how Say. to portray that character. Sure. And it was like, oh, that seems weird. So Neek as Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga is not funny. Like, yeah, Lady Gaga is not a good choice she's for She's just not funny. Game. Don't do Lady Gaga. Nope. Just don't do her. It's fine. And then at the end was Jessica Wilde. Oh my God. As, as RuPaul. RuPaul. I kind of loved it. I did not. I, it wasn't RuPaul in any way, shape, or form. But did I love that she went for it and she was like, oh, wacky? I yeah. love that she went for it and was wacky, but like she did some weird things that like, I guess for me, was... turn up later in later seasons that are things that I really hate. Sure. Like sleeping. Right. And you know, what, you know, it's like. It was right on the edge. It, it wasn't Kenya's Beyonce. You know, it wasn't like so manic and insane. Right. And she was the only one being insane. Right. So it like worked somehow. I thought it was like funny. And RuPaul was having a blast. RuPaul was. I loved when she did RuPaul's laugh. How are you? <laughs> yes. Right. Yes. She was like, ah. Well, and then she gets up and just starts walking down the runway like a supermodel. And everyone's like, what the fuck are you doing? And she's just like, work. 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 Yeah. Yes. At least it was you something. Know, it was, you know, she did, she did stuff and like was being like, silly. Like I just and... talked about her performance for longer than four seconds. You right. Know, like something happened. Something happened. I that's, thought it was funny. That's true. So then moving down. Right. Was Raven. Yeah. As Paris Hilton, who was like a step above a flatline. Barely. Yeah. Her look was very good, I thought. She had the silly little chihuahua and yeah. the, the wig and whatever. She seemed to like embody her 
vacantness. Yes. But she didn't have anything funny to say. And then Sahara. Sahara was Whitney Houston. She was like, I guess okay. A lot of her things that she said were at least more entertaining than others. Sure. I was waiting for it to be a little bit more because so Rue in the workroom was like, well, like which kind of which Whitney are you gonna go for? Right. And they're doing this like Bobby back and forth. Bobby, like, Bobby Christina. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Why did she never once go Bobby? Like. <laughs> That's so she's easy. She's literally like, like, are you gonna do Bobby Brown's Whitney? And she's like, well, that's the fun one to do. Right. And then she's like, she doesn't really, really do, it. do it. And you're like, what? Like, come on, one of the things could have been like, show me the receipts. <laughs> Put receipts. Show me the receipts. <laughs> RuPaul. Like, right? That'd be so easy. Yeah. Bye-bye. Like, come on. Bye-bye. She just didn't do enough with it. Next to Whitney was Tati. Yes, as Britney Spears. As Britney Spears. A revelation starting from where you thought she was it was going right like the episode starts and she's like oh, I've yeah. never really done an impression I don't really know what I'm doing I didn't really bring anything I have the wrong wig and you're just like Ooh. and then going from that to like winning yeah it's pretty crazy it is dumb Dee Dee's so dumb last night she got arrested for driving without a a baby in her lap a baby <laughs> There's some interesting baggage to unpack with Tati in this episode. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, let's first talk about how it was nice. It was really nice. Morgan, like, all of a sudden decides to be nice to Tati. Morgan, surprisingly enough, let me borrow one of her wigs. And she's like, here, this one is, like, the same, but it's, it's like, fuller. fuller and, like, better. She says it kind of condescendingly. Is this what you use for your Britney? No. I, I left my Britney wig at home. But Tati, in this episode, I was realizing it in Untucked and like at the end, mm. this is the shift of Tati from like, I'm timid and shy and like, I'm only 21 and I have not really done this much, but I'm going to try really hard and I think I'm good to like, no, fuck y'all bitches. It's the pivot. It is. And it's, <laughs> it's already starting to get ugly. <laughs> well, and this was the episode too, where every time anyone did anything remotely nice to her this episode or anything, she'd be like, I think it might have come from the fact that she didn't think I was going to be a threat. So might as well let her, you know, throw her a bone. She's done. Like, yeah. she's done being like, we're going to be friends. She's right. like, I'm out. And like, it was interesting. So, um, next to her was Tyra as Beyonce. So at, toward the end, yes. Tyra comes for her and is like, Can I say one thing? Yes. To Britney and Whitney. Yes. I know that they keep twitching. And I know that they're survivors, but the only way they're gonna keep surviving if they stop sniffing these markers. She weaves a tail with three X. I loved that Tatiana was just like, Am I the only one who's doing it? Uh, I, I apparently, uh... It smells like home. <laughs> Can we talk about Tyra? Yeah. So Ty Tyra's dressed like Beyonce, but she looks like a character from Flash Gordon. <laughs> It was real weird. Yeah. It was a weird look for me. I'm sure that that's like based on a real Beyonce look, but it looked not good. Like, I, if I saw that, I wouldn't be like, oh, that's Beyonce. I still wasn't like, oh, that's Beyonce. <laughs> but she literally says, it's easy. I don't have to do anything because Beyonce is just like Tyra. Beyonce is just like me. All I have to do is just be myself, like just smile, say nice things. Thank you for having me. I just have to be nice and respectfully answer the questions, and that's it. In her mind, of course, she's also delusional and thinks that she is Beyonce of drag. But she's just like, you know, I'm just gonna be me and, and answer these questions and try and be like an elegant Beyonce. Right. But that's boring as fuck. Well, that's not the point, and you're very lucky you had immunity. Immunity. I mean, really lucky. So they're in the workroom and they're all getting their faces on, and Tati and uh, Tyra are talking, and Tati is like, the only thing funny that Beyonce has ever done is fall down. That was insulting to Beyonce. This is something that she may have been embarrassed about. Please just drop it. Beyonce Please fell and it, it was funny. Girl, calm down. <laughs> and she just like... Tyra, she believes that she's Beyonce. And she doesn't want to hurt Beyonce's feelings because somehow Beyonce pays her bills. What's up, Tyra? Tyra really just has like this weird yes. thing about, about Beyonce. Well, this whole, that's really planted the seed for what's going to happen next week. 
which I can't wait for. <laughs> I don't remember, so I'm excited. Very excited. Oh my god. So, quick commercial break, and then we'll be right back with um, <laughs> Runway and some critiques and a fabulous lip sync, and of course, Untucked. Right back. <laughs> a winner! A winner! So, Rue walks down the runway. Yes! Looking like a Mexican Serape <laughs> gay flag. It's like a Mexican Serape gay flag. It's very like Circus Ted Caftan. Yes! Was, yes! But I like kind of loved it. Oh, I loved it. <laughs> I really liked it. I didn't know, I didn't think she needed the like hip, the way that the hip fell. Sure. It was obviously a choice. Right. Like she had like triangular hips. Yeah. But um had it just been like form fitting or loose. Right. Oh my god. I feel like we might have talked about this before, but maybe not. But I really want Rue to come out in um Shelley Long's dress from From True Beverly Hills, the half and half with the pastel and the green. Oh my god, yes. Like how great would that be? I really want one of the queens to like recreate. Like I would Die. die. I would die. That would be so amazing. With like Girl Scout boxes, cookies, you know, like. Just drenched. Because that's the thing she falls <laughs> yes! down with. Yes! Oh my god. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Um, so the category is. Oh yeah. Personal. Your personal, personal style? Style. It was a hodgepodge. It was a real weird mix of runway looks. It was like. Wear what you have left. You're right. <laughs> so first down the runway is Pandora Box. Yes. I didn't hate this. I actually really liked it. Like, I agree that the hem and the shoes, like, made it less classy. Yes. But I liked the fit, and it was, like, sparkly and fun. It was like a crystal chainmail dress. And I was <laughs> right. like, I am on board for this, like, Knights of the Round Table realness. <laughs> But like disco nights of the round table. Yes, yes. She looked really pretty. She looked really pretty. As usual. Yeah, it was The biggest problem, like, when they pointed it out, it was like, oh yeah, totes. The, the, the shoes was, and the hem. Wait, 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 short. Yeah. Yeah. It was weird. And maybe she thinks, like, because her shoes are clear, like, they disappear. I don't know. Like, uh, she, I wish she had, like, strappy silver shoes or something, but. Yeah. Yeah, it had it been those exact platforms, but, like. Silver? Silver glittered. Yeah. It would be trashy in a different way, but at least it would go together. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Bejeweled. Next, Next up. Yes. Was. Tyra. Oh. She looked good. I mean, fucking fabulous. She looked like, you know, Parisian, sort of like, what are you going to say? What's happening? Okay. So I said she looked like Pretty Woman meets Cruella de Vil in Paris. It's like Pretty Woman after she's gone shopping and well, like, like, big mistake. Yeah. Huge. It's the shopping spree. Right. right. It's like, <laughs> But then she has like the Cruella de Vil hat. Yes. And like, it was, yes. And, and oh, oh my god, the bags. What do the bags say? They say Santina? <laughs> oh my god. I was just like, yes. Like, you get it, Tyra. Yes. You get it. Like, Work she really audience. does have an aesthetic. And she really does know how to put together a look. Yeah, it's really true. And it's saving it's me really, from hating her. It, it's true. It's where she excels because Absolutely. her personality, when you hear her talking or performing, doesn't come through. No. Um, it's really like milk toast. Yeah. But when she's on stage, it like she has the, the time or whatever to, to put, yeah, yeah, she puts on a fucking show and she pays attention to details. Yeah. You know, we forget she was 21 too. Yeah. You know, everyone's like, oh, well, Tati's so young. Nobody's saying that about Tyra. It's true. So the next up was Morgan McMichaels. Oh, my God. Sexy ringmaster. I, I thought she looked like Borat. Mixed with well, it was like it was like she was wearing you know the, the Borat oh, yeah. green. Well, there was like a I don't want to say a tucking issue, but there was definitely like a, uh, a it, pull. It a reminded pull. me of the the green Borat swimsuit. Yeah. Mixed with um the Austin Powers character with all of the the ball the, the penis fur where it's like furry chest furry chest and then like a center of fur like a penis. Was that the specific joke? Like, they pointed it out? I don't know if they ever pointed it out that it looked like a penis, but, like... I, it never occurred to me. Okay. It was, for me, it was, like, somewhat a Marlena Dietrich, um, Madeline Kahn, 
era, you know, Blazing Saddles, like, the, the wig with the curly hair and the tiny hat. Like, yeah. she had a thing going, but somehow the whole thing just looked really cheap. Yes. You know, there was something, like, not classy about it. Next up oh, yeah. was Juju. Yes. In this sort of neon blue jumpsuit, cat like, suit. Kind of like Jonathan Adler print. With, like, this burgundy shrug. Yeah. It was giving me, like, Barbie and the Rockettes. Like, remember when they go to space? Maybe you don't remember. There's, like, a music video where Barbie and the Rockettes, like, they, like, lift off, and then they're all, like, you know, in zero gravity, and they're like, oh, no, my lipstick. I'll just float over here. What? And then it's like, oh, I gotta catch that earring. What? And they're, like, singing a song. It's really great. Anyway, we kind of had that, like, 80s Barbie sure. okay. vibe, future, I mean, space. I liked it. Her pad was great. Sure. I didn't, like, yeah. love the wig. But it went with it? Yep, yep, yep. So then next up was Sonique. I loved this look. I don't know. I kind of liked it too. Right. I thought it was really fun. It was kind of like, sexy, kind of quirky. Print. She had this yeah. mask that they made her take off, and she, her makeup still looked good after that she took it off, but I liked the mask too. Well, like, once she took the mask off, it was like, oh my god, Ellen Barkin just showed up. What? <laughs> like, wait. Has it been Alan Barkin the whole time? Well, what's going on? Julie Newmar, sexy kitten, you know. I I really liked it. It was airing on the side of Trashy, but it was more burlesque. Yes. Like it managed to not be stripper, but be more burlesque. I agree. It wasn't it wasn't Trashy. I remember this always really liking this look. I and like she it. does a lot of like, mm, yeah, yeah. Next, uh, Tati. I in the worst look of the night. I'm just gonna say it. In I her think worst look it is offensive it. that Tati won this challenge over Pandora. Solely based on this situation. I agree. Unacceptable. I agree. She looks like a five dollar hooker. <laughs> but like for reals, what the fuck? It was it a short like cheap teen prostitute. It was like it was so fucking terrible. She had like this black Folk leather corset that did not fit. It did not fit at, at all. all. Her boobs were so weird. It was real bizarre. It was like it didn't cinch really. No. It was bizarre. And then and then she had this like purple shiny. It looked like a tube top from Forever Twenty One that she made into a skirt. Like it yeah. was just like Ugh. it was like whoa no yeah she's pretty thank God. This was because yeah I don't know how she girl. thought this was acceptable. It's funny now like you know knowing about All Stars and her being like. Don't shop at Wet Seal. Like, looking back, I'm sure she's like, what the fuck, fuck was, was I wearing? wearing? So then Jessica Wilde comes out. She looks, like, she looks like a flamenco transvestite at a funeral. She looks like a transvestite flamenco dancer at a funeral. I mean, she just does. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, she does. It's the same outfit. She looks like a transvestite flamenco <laughs> dancer at a funeral. funeral. I mean, just she just does. She also, to me, yeah. looked like she was out of the cast of Pam. <laughs> like, she, was like, she stole um, Hugh, Jackman. Hugh Jackman's wardrobe. It did have a bit of a conquistador. I couldn't figure out where to look. Like, it was like, uh, what am I looking at? What's happening? There was too much going on. It was a lot. And then next was Raven. Yes. Who also looked like a flamenco dancer. But like, but like not... the emoji flamenco dancer. Right. I really liked it. She looked like Kris Jenner. I like liked Selma it. Blair. Like she, just, sure. she looked really pretty. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't a showstopper, but it was very clean and concise and very like it was very really Raven. nice. Maybe it would have put it over the edge if she had had like a fan, like just a prop, mm. just to tell a little bit, sure. color in a little bit more of that story. Sure, sure. But I, it was beautiful. I liked it a lot. I liked it too. So then, Sahara, Sahara. Davenport comes out wearing uh, Jessica Wilde's dress. <laughs> it was just like it was also a big black. Well, it was a big black mess. mess, but this was like a lycra disaster. This was too. I had a real hard time figuring out where to look. I think it was like a black bodysuit, then with a belt, no, with a corset and a belt, that then also had a large, poofy, transparent lace right. sleeve with a cape. Also, her face looked like Naomi Smalls in uh -huh. um, the Wizard of Oz challenge that she won as the Scarecrow, with those big, twiggy, like, eyelashes. Burn. I mean... 
Not necessarily because she won. I mean, she, but, did, she looked fabulous. But she wasn't going for the scarecrow look this week? No. So then, continuing the game show theme? I guess. They did, like... I guess Deal or No Heal. Heal or No like, Heal was the um, was the thing. And so they, they all had brief... out loud or they just implied it? There's either a heal or no heal. And so she they goes were, through each one and is like, open there. your box. And it's like, heal. No heal. <laughs> heal. <laughs> No heel. It was stupid. It was so funny. And it like just took so long, I think, was my big thing. It was, it was like, like, oh my god, we get okay. it. Okay, it just seemed unnecessary, yeah. but Raven... Oh my gosh. Raven was like... Please just let there be a heel in this briefcase so I can leave the stage. Heel. Yes, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and then Morgan, though. Morgan right. gets no heel and she puts it down and she's like... Mm -hmm. And I'm like, girl, did you think you're in the top? Because you are now. She made a face like, great, I'm going to be in the top. So in what I think was kind of unfair, mm. Tati wins. Pandora is safe. Yes. I think Pandora earned the win overall. I thought she had a really good character. I thought she yes. was funny. She came up with quick lines yes. and it was great. And she had a stronger, a much stronger runway. Much run stronger runway look. I agree. I think the reason Tati won is it was more of a surprise. Sure. Yeah. She, she most sort of, improved and did yes. well, so it was like, okay, fine. Yeah, but... That runway look, though, should have disqualified her immediately. Um, that look was terrible. But Tati won. I'm not mad. I, I wasn't think mad Pandora at Pandora should have won, but, like, yeah. Tati did do a really good job. Yes, she did. In such game. Yes. And Morgan and Sonique are in the bottom. Yeah. They lip sync. They lip sync to Two of Hearts, and it was great. It was crazy. It was a really good look. So I was watching it, and... I didn't remember what happened. Right. And so I was watching it, and I was like, gosh, I think that uh, Morgan really has this. Mm -hmm. And then Sonique's like, I'm going to do whatever the fuck it takes. Yeah. And then she starts doing some cartwheels and shit. I was like, oh, god damn. She's doing backflips and... And roundhouses, roundhouses and whatever. Yeah. And, and I was like, shit. And then she kept doing them. Mm. And, like, as they cut away to Morgan saying, like... It's a lip-syncing competition. It's not a gymnastics competition. And Morgan was just nailing the lip-sync. Nailing the lip-sync. Like, her lips were, like, on point. I mean, yes, I can appreciate that Sonique was like, I'm going to do what I do best, which sure. apparently is flip-flopping around. I was like, great. Yeah. I loved watching it. I mean, also, she was just, like, basically stripping on stage and then oh ended God. up in a bikini. She really did, but a matching bikini. Yeah. Loved it. Oh, yeah, matching G-string tiger print bikini. Yes. In heels. Yes. <laughs> And she did all of the acrobatics in heels. I really, it was a great lip sync. It really was. It was I wouldn't have been Rue, angry if either of them, like if, if, they, if both of them both stayed. stayed. Yeah, I, I mean, Rue said it was a hard one. Yeah. I, I'm going to miss Sonique. I really liked her. The only time I didn't like her was in Untucked. Watching it now, knowing that she has transitioned, she says a lot of things that you're like, oh, like, oh, I'm not really confident in myself. Yep. And I don't know who I am. And, oh, you feel so comfortable as who sure. you are. Sure. There was a lot of, like... Signs. And there was a lot of her reading people for stuff that I think was her, her own shit. Yeah. Totally. So it's it's interesting watching it now. It is. She's laying into Tati and whatever, and yeah. like, oh, but like you're not doing drag. You're just like you know looking pretty, and like don't yeah. you want to just be a girl or whatever? And yeah. it's like, whoa, but this is probably more about you. I wish I felt as comfortable as you did right now. Thank you. When you point your finger at someone, you have three fingers pointing back at yourself. So then Untuck starts, and the safe girls go back, and Raven and Tyra are like, <laughs> I thought Raven was smarter than this, but Raven and Tyra are talking about how, well, Tati was making fun of Britney, and she was, what, she was doing, like, an SNL character? I think what they wanted is they wanted us to give that character yeah. without being it being a parody. That's not what they wanted us to do. And I was like, that's exactly, exactly what, they what they wanted, wanted you to do. do. Like, what I, are you they just, they just didn't get it. You know, I think they really thought like they wanted they them to... just, like, almost stoking their own fire. Like, I was like, you can't be this dumb. Like, Tatiana may be in the bottom two. <gasps> you think Tatiana might no. be down there? It was just like, I'm like, what is this? I think they just didn't get it. They just it. wouldn't let it go. On set, she was had everybody cracking up. But it wasn't Britney. It was, it was, it was making fun of more, Britney. But she gave more than the pink character. You know what else they wouldn't let go? What? Mystique. 
Oh god. This whole episode, when they walk into the room room after the, the work room after the first one, the worm room. After they walk into the work room after the first one, and then like. Wow, her lipstick is chunky. Is that cake icing or lipstick? No, if it was cake icing, she would have eaten it off. I don't like people that pick on others because you're insecure. That's unacceptable. I was like, girls, let oh. Mystique go. Yeah, let it go. Well, and then, so she's just, Raven is just like laying into Tati, and Jessica is just like, like, like this, like, angel, like, on her shoulders, like, Raven, you know more than anyone. That no matter what you wearing, some things can happen because you are beautiful, you are gorgeous. Halo, Absolutely. Like, you know. Yes. Oh, oh, but let's see the other side. <laughs> just like Pollyanna showed up and was yeah. like, don't be mean. It's like, oh, Jessica, I love you. I love you. But then Raven's response is like, yeah, but I knew I was fucking shitty. I know that my chicken sucked. It didn't even get across the road, bitch. It got hit on the way over. <laughs> oh my god. And then and they in play the grand it again. Tradition of season two's shady editors. Welcome to another home fried meal. Courtesy of Disco's Extra. If you in case you forgot, he was playing the tape of her terrible chicken impersonation. <laughs> we'll wait. <laughs> we'll wait. I think it was just like, yeah. <laughs> they did that a lot more back then, and I miss it. Raven's confessional look was sort of switched up a little bit this week. She was wearing like a like a beanie, oh, like a weird beanie, with like the with the earrings. It was very like oh, I'm a '90s snowboarder. It was yeah. weird. It was really weird. I was like, what's this? What's happening? I thought I'd mention it. It was just weird. I don't know. I didn't know that 2010 was still a year of the beanie. <laughs> so the the bottom and top girls come in and. Tati is like, I don't know, maybe I'm gonna be in the bottom because my look was so fucking terrible. You know what, Tati, because you're a slut hooker. Here, take one. And then Sonique sort of lashes out and is like, This is my drag. Right. I think that there's no I, specific. I feel like it's like tired. Tired? I feel like it's tired. The funny thing to me is Tati took it so, so. personally, and I didn't even think that was that mean of a th Like, it's not nice. But it wasn't like she went all in. It wasn't like they got into some huge fight. And then she apologized like fairly soon That's afterwards. That's true. I'm sorry, I'm attacking you. I wished that I was kind of in your spot right now. I regretted it from the moment it slipped out of my mouth. So I think it was a lot of jealousy. Oh yes. And I think it was also a lot of insecurity, particularly on Sunique's part. I'm just a little insecure right now because I know I will have to lip sync for my life. I feel like she apologized just just so she'd look better. Oh my god, Jujubee's reaction. Oh my god. <laughs> so then they all go into the same room. Yes. And they're all going around the dial or whatever, and they're like, what did the judges say to you? What did the judges say to you? Da 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 da. And they get to Tati, and she's like, well, they thought my outfit was. They said trashy. Was it trashy? Like well, no. Somebody said tired. They said you looked like a hooker. And then she's like, and somebody said that you, your look was, was tired? tired? <laughs> I've already apologized to her. Do, what do you want me to do, pull her hair off? No, no, not, not. Yes, you, I know what you're, I know what you're doing. That's up. Like, it was just like, I died. You just walked staring at T. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was the best. And I so it came out of nowhere, because I was like, this doesn't seem like Juju's, like, personality, but I kind of love it. Doesn't it though? I mean, it she doesn't, always stirs the pot. She totally stirs the pot, but this seems shadier. So. <laughs> it definitely seems shadier. But I think she just wanted to call out Sonique for being a cunt, but you know? she had already apologized. I mean, that is true. And Sonique's like, look girl, I already apologized. Calm the fuck down. Calm your tits. Somebody said tired. <laughs> that was my favorite moment. I'm just gonna, just gonna place that right there. <laughs> just gonna... I'll be over here. <laughs> Just like <laughs> Shangela put Sahara is wearing. Her beef. I'm just gonna put that Yes. <laughs> That's my reaction to that. I think that there's just always gonna be, you know, different categories yeah. of drag, and they're always gonna not get along necessarily. Absolutely. Because my drag's the best. No, my drag's the best. And then one's gonna yeah. tell the other that they're a tired ass showgirl. <laughs> In one way or another. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Sonique went out on a high note. I loved her runway. I did too. I thought even though she didn't like do a ton of lip syncing, 
I thought her lip sync performance was it really was fun, fun and cool and impressive. You know, and she she apologized for yep. her ways, and I think she learned something. And like it, she went out on a good, I agree, in a good place. I agree. So that was this week's episode. Yeah, really fun. Make sure to subscribe yes. and share. Tell all your friends. Be like, hey, check out Drag Race reviews. Yeah. Um, and uh, try some wine. Yeah, like it's really good. I, we're not we're not making this shit up. It's really good. I've been having a great time. And you can always cancel it if you don't think it's good. But totally. we have enjoyed it. Yeah. So um yeah, so cheers. So to uh, that. yeah, see you next week. Next week. <laughs>